this video might just be a, a love letter to Wyoming, I'm not gonna lie. I'm falling. Oh, I'm falling hard. of living in a van while I was waiting in line to park. Yeah, I was not anticipating that. I already needed to eat breakfast, so they had me turn off my car and pull off on the side of the road while I waited. I was like, perfect. So I just made myself some potatoes and zucchini and onion and then served that with some greens and an egg. Oh, so good. I mean, some beans probably would have completed it, but I'm not complaining. They don't recommend solo hiking. Oh, well, what you gonna do? But they said that if you are hiking solo, to talk to yourself and, well, check. Uh, but I figure, like, filming along the way is the perfect loud activity. Um, but at the same time, I want to see some critters. I met this really, really cool park ranger, and he explained to me bear safety in a way that I quite enjoyed. Um, I've never really been fancy on the idea of hooting and hollering and, like, acting all tough around a bear. like. Not my place, if you know what I mean. Um, but he was saying, actually, with the bears here, obviously have bear spray. I mean, if I'm gonna be inspiring y'all to be out in nature, might as well give you some safety tips too. Slowly back away from the bear, speak very quietly, because oftentimes they'll just mosey on off. Uh, of course, he said, if it's charging at you uh, <laughs> with its ears back, that might be a good time as well to maybe get the bear spray ready, um, but wait till they get closer so you don't miss, obviously, and, you know, get mauled by a bear. <laughs> but he said sometimes they bluff, which I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to call that bluff. changes in terrain and just the natural setting over time because it's interesting to see how, for example, I see lots of lupine growing and I've seen it from Arizona all the way up to Wyoming, which is pretty crazy. They look just a little bit different in each place, um, definitely just because of the way the climate is. And something else I've been doing is always checking this website I check, it's Seasonal Food Guide, um, link here. But you can actually go in, select what state you're in, select what time of the year it is, which obviously state is kind of broad, but honestly, eating local to your state is still better than like eating literally food from other countries that's been shipped a long way. Like, you know, a lot of pressure. Still, it's interesting to see how the availability of produce changes. As I get further north, I start to see cooler weather veggies come back and I start to see that certain summer fruits aren't available anymore. It's just a fascinating uh, change to experience and I really enjoy it. <laughs> Subscribe to see Kaylin hike in more places where she is not acclimated to the elevation.
back country. Okay. First hike in the Grand Tetons. And first bear sighting in the Grand Tetons. a baby. I've only ever seen baby bears. Only ever seen baby bears. We're in bear country, I reckon. <laughs> I was talking to a family earlier and another family passed and I let them know that the bear was there. And um, she said, oh, were you talking to a family before? Yeah, they were worried about you. Good to know you're okay. I was like, all in the love. That's crazy though. Uh, for once in a national park, I'm not concerned about hiking at busy times, that's for sure. It, but I figure that's a little too ominous for solo hiking. so much for joining me on my little adventure to Phelps Lake in the Grand Tetons National Park. I spend yet another day exploring these beautiful mountain views, fields of wildflowers, butterflies, all my favorite things about the park. Also visiting not one, but two gorgeous alpine lakes hidden in the mountains. All the while I'll be showing you all of the wholesome, easy, delicious foods that I throw together to keep myself fueled no matter where my adventures may take me. So you'll definitely want to subscribe so that you can come along for the adventure and get some inspiration for meals that you can create whether you're at home or you're on the road. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.